Today is November 26th, and it's basically the end of our second growing season here on uh, our project in Lakeland, Florida. Um, so we're going to do a run through real quick and show you how the things did finished up this year. Over here we got the uh, Bradenton low plot. This has been a very fast grower this year. It's currently flowering. I'll probably cut those flowers off uh, so it will grow and let it get bigger before doing any fruiting. And the champagne loquat is also these are all potatoes. We didn't actually plant these. They were they were kind of tossed over and they kind of just took off on their own. The jackfruit. Um, it really got beat up from the hurricane. Almost lost most of the leaves. And it was a bit beat up, but it's come back. And we'll see how it does through winter. This star fruit, Cherry star fruit, has done very, very good this year. Um, there's some fruits on it here and there. That's a good one. There's some over here. Bigger one. Oh wow, I didn't realize they were that big. Yeah, they are. But we decided to let it hold on to a few because it just flowers all the time. So. Um, the Barbados half of the Barbados cherry. There used to be another half to it, but it mm -hmm. uh, was pruned off because it broke from the hurricane. But this is all new growth since the hurricane over here, so it'll start filling in again. And this thing, we've got a few fruit off from it already in the first year, but this is a very good grower. It's flowering all the time. And the green sapote, um, towards the end of the season, it's been picking up its growth. I think it's starting to get settled in and doing well. And then we got some moringas that were just kind of in the, the mulch and they're just growing up. I'm gonna, I'm not planning on letting these grow here permanently. We're gonna harvest the leaves here shortly. The Fuyu persimmon kind of didn't do a whole lot in this first year. Messed around with some pruning here and there to try to get it to branch out. It, it just didn't want to branch out very well. So we'll see how it does next year. The, um, I'm forgetting right now at the moment. I can what that um, is. Is it a? Sapodilla. Sapodilla, yeah. okay. <laughs> the, this is the Alano Sapodilla. And this is, um, starting to pick up the pace here at the end of the year now that it's gotten settled in and it's starting to do pretty good. It looks good. The dragon fruit over here, they have these things haven't done they haven't done well. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might pull them. But they just they haven't done nothing all year. Macadamia nut um, had some little bit of issues there with some fungus and stuff. I got to prune all this off, but it started getting better when I gave it some micronutrients, and it's starting to harden off. And I think it'll do better next year. So, um. Maycock sapodilla. Oh, I didn't notice that. Got some. Oh, I got some. Yeah, it's just uh, sooty mold. Oh, I'll clean that. that up. It's actually got a fruit on it. Does it? Over here. Yeah. Oh, no one. Wow, it, does. Look at that. it constantly flowers. Oh. I didn't even notice that it had set a fruit. Oh, wow. Are you just going to let it go? Yeah. We'll see. And the 
Topic Beauty Peach. We finally got its leaves turning into nice and good green. I'm gonna and get on the other side of the top. tree. Good leaves are starting to fall. Okay. And orange tree, the pineapple orange. Fig, brown turkey fig. You're losing, losing all leaves. their leaves. Right behind you, the sio persimmon. It's all gore, it's but losing, it's doing pretty good. Losing its leaves. It's losing its leaves. Right here, the Meyer lemon. Thing kind of got tall. It's kind of spindly. Hopefully, it'll fill in. No. Guava, I had pruned this back in, I believe in mid-August, I pruned it and it was, it looked like nothing but a skeleton. And now it's all flushed back out and there's fruit all over it. Everywhere. There's, there's fruits. Places. Everywhere. Varying sizes. Navel orange. I don't, just had a lot of issues with these the citrus this year. I'm gonna try and do better next year with spraying and stuff to get these healthier. The dragon fruit cactuses, these things did not grow at all during the summer, but within the last month, one or two since it's cooled down, it's starting to put growth out everywhere. Um, it, they did nothing but flower all summer. Now they're growing, so I guess they're going to grow in the winter time and flower all summer. And then the bananas over here, we got a rack of bananas. I don't know if you can get in there and see it all, Jen. Yep, I got it. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's going to make it through cold temperatures in the winter, but we'll see how it we'll That's see how it home. goes. But you remember. Back in the when the hurricane came through, the water level was actually all the way up to here. And now it's receded and gone back down. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh wow, this. this one is flowering too. Another flower. Wow. Didn't even notice this one. Okay. So what kind is this one? They're both the same thing. I I believe they're namwas. Okay. The or the the false ice cream banana. <laughs> Okay. It's not the real ice cream. Either. They're doing well, needless to say. Yeah, they've come back. The good. And these. More bananas. They struggled. These ones struggled a little bit more. But being underwater, the water was right up into here after the hurricane, but um, they're coming back. Starting to grow. No longer have any bananas over here. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this particular area. But, uh, no longer have bananas in there. Garden area. We have to have the Look at that, guys. Wow, what happened here? Uh-oh, did we get a something? I was just out here earlier. It must be birds chipping away at it. Yeah. But we've got a few. They're starting to turn color. Very nice. Oh yeah, let's see. Got some of those. Some of those. Some green beans. Some green beans. I'm trying to make it here. I'm surprised that the plants aren't bigger before they put on growth. Got some. Which one is this one? Peas. These are peas. Yeah, I haven't put them on a trellis. They're pretty though. And lettuce is over there. Oh, hello little cat. And all kind of romaine. Yeah, we're gonna have to thin this out. <laughs> little thick, eh guys? <laughs> um, I believe this, what if I get them mixed up, I have a, um, an Egyptian, 
Is it Egyptian kale Egyptian and New Zealand kale. spinach or vice versa? And then eggplant. That's definitely a type of spinach right there. Yeah, and that's definitely a kale. I can I know that's yeah. definitely a kale and this is definitely a type of spinach. We just don't know which <laughs> I just forget which one is country Egyptian it came and which from. one is New Zealand. Okay. And then broccoli, um, dinosaur kale, eggplant. Lots of flowers on it. Eggplant loves to bloom these beautiful purple flowers and fruits. We're hoping these do really well. There's another. So we'll see. Dwarf Namois is done really, really well. It's got a few pups coming up on it. Oh, yeah, the little bitty ones. This thing wasn't bothered by being underwater at all. I think there's like three or four pups coming up on that. And then I've thrown a couple of bananas in here. I basically plan on going all the way around the pond. You can see them. That's crazy, honey. You know we're going to have a lot of bananas. <laughs> they grow well with the, getting their roots down to the water. They do. I really love this, this variety because of the red on the leaves. So pretty. Blackberries. Um, I, think, I don't know much about blackberries, but they seem to have grown pretty good this year. If you can see it very much against the mulch, it's kind of hard to snow. The southern home grape vine and another dwarf namois. This one's not quite doing as well as the other one. It kind of got knocked around a little bit more, but by the hurricane. But it's still, it's still good. Pigeon peas, starting to get, to get a few peas off of this, although this pigeon pea, it hasn't done very good, but it's producing, the other one didn't it's produce. Really scraggly. The sweetheart lychee. Looks horrible, huh? It got beat up, either, it was either post-hurricane problems from the wind, or it might have been from me laying down some sulfur or micronutrients I gave it. But it, the leaves got a bit burnt. It's putting out growth flush now. So it's still good. It just got beat up a little bit. Mm. And there used to be a bigger papaya here, but those got knocked down by the hurricane. We got new ones that we planted and they're growing. So I should say planted by seed. And pineapples over there. Getting bigger. The Mauritius. Lychee is Doing putting on a last flush of the year. This is beautiful. Look at that. More pineapples. Looking big. Pigeon pea. Pigeon pea. Although that one's not flowering. Mm. Sure did get knocked over though. This cherry star fruit, which was, I, th I thought it was going to probably die on me, but um, I pruned it way back and it's gave it some micronutrients and it's starting to, I think it's starting to get better. Yeah, a colorful mango seedling. Having a little bit of fungus issues. And the coconut cream, the coconut cream 
I've pruned this back. This thing has had a lot of fungus issues this year. I've got some stuff coming in to deal with it. Um, some organic stuff. I'm putting on some growth here. But it's really had some serious fungus issues this year. Another little papaya. Mm. I still haven't planted anything. This is where the Valencia Pride used to be that I killed. I still haven't planted anything here yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant. Pineapples. There's one that's ripening right now. Oh yeah, it does look good. And claw along in. Wow, this thing is doing brown. really good. Look at that new growth. Yeah, I just tip pruned it because I wanted it to start flushing branches and stuff. And it only put out one all the way around. So, so much for getting branches on it. Wow. Going. Huh. At least so far. So, we'll wait till next year to get the branches. So, Glen Mango did good, even though it got knocked over twice in Lewis last year and had to get reestablished. It still grew really well. The tent mango. Go stand beside it, honey. What? Oh, because I'm six five. Yeah. So it's pushing ten foot. And it's finishing up its second growth season. Look at all of those beautiful leaves. Yeah, everything on this side and through here has this is all second year growth. The trees on this side were first year growth. A little bit of fungus issues on that one. The Kiat mango. Spreading out. Yeah, it's a little bit blown around from heavy winds and stuff like that, but it starts to, as it hardens up, the, the limbs start to lift back up. The Mexa Cola. Mexa Cola avocado is buds are about ready to pop. And this thing grew a lot last uh, winter. Basically December and January it grew a lot. So I'm a, I'm assuming that it's gonna grow a lot this year. Got some eating the leaves on? Yeah, and it doesn't it just the thing does not like the, the summer too well. It doesn't grow much during the summer. But definitely got it. Where the bacon definitely looks a lot better. The bacon avocado. And it too is grew a lot last winter, so I'm assuming that it's gonna its buds look like it's ready and it's gonna start growing. And then the pear trees did a lot better this year. I haven't done much with them. I could have spread these branches out a lot better than this. They're all kind of heading straight up. Mm -hmm. it definitely grew a lot better than it did last year. And that mm -hmm. was after I actually pruned it back to get some branching off of it. And the Hasa, Hasia sapodilla. This one's probably doing the worst out of all, all the sapodillas. Um, kind of yellowish it's not greening up as much as the other ones but we'll see how it does over winter and into next year the dream Adamoya this thing was pancaked from a branch it was laying flat on the ground from the hurricane but uh, it's still alive but it's it's had a, it struggled this first year it seems The passion fruit vine. It's just kind of doing its thing. It's I've taken over. Got to try to. There's other vines that get in there, and I try and take them out, but apparently I don't get them all. Mm -hmm. The white sapote. I don't know. This thing had one really, really good growth flush in the spring 
and it didn't do anything in the summertime. It just put out a couple of flowers over here, but I took them out. And so we'll just see. It's a little bit beat up from the hurricane, but other than that, I mean, it looks fine. It just is not doing a whole lot. And this is... And another papaya. Oh yeah, the, another papaya. And this one's my baby. The mango seedling. That This is the tree that's been here the longest. Of course, last year it was much taller, but I pugged it back to get it to branch Brand. out and bush. Branch out lower, because it was branching up really high. Loquat seedling. I'm not sure if I'm just going to leave it as it is, or if I'm going to um, graft something onto it. The other, there was a loquat seedling over here, but I've seen a, a Yehuda loquat in Home Depot a couple weeks ago and I decided to go ahead and buy it, so I just planted this Yehuda loquat. High giant jujube, Indian type jujube. Just flushing. Doing his thing. This thing was a skinny stick. These things grow pretty fast. Growing willy nilly, but I like I like it though. They say it's kind of ugly, but I, I think it's whimsical. I like it. <laughs> wow. Stand beside Cranberry that one. Cranberry hibiscus really grew well. Stand beside it, honey. Huh? Yeah, it's really tall. It has not done very well over here in full sun. I've been taking cuttings off from it here and there and trimming this down and planting the cuttings over in a shaded area. And they're d taking off very easily and Under those doing trees. well. Oh, no. Another papaya. These are all red lady papayas that we're growing. And when they ripen well, they they taste pretty decent. Good luck. Tropic snow peach, basically. Time it's to go dormant. Fall time. <laughs> fall, huh? <laughs> this thing had a rough year. Yeah, it was knocked all the way over from, by the hurricane. Yeah, it was knocked down by the hurricane. And then it had whatever eating it. You see those back scars the there. Spring. Yeah, but it healed back over. It recovered. You can see, or you can't see, <laughs> however you want to call it. There's no more Jamaican cherry or strawberry tree mantingia here. And that's because it was beat up a little bit worse than I thought from the hurricane. And I had pugged it way down. And then I decided I didn't like it. And then a friend came over and we dug it up and I gave it to him. I'm gonna plant probably, I don't know, maybe an avocado, a late season avocado or, or something over here, I think. The three figs. They kind of had a slow start, but they were little guys when I planted them, but they, they've taken off the, what, the te everbearing, the Texas everbearing fig, the white Marcellus and the yellow long neck. But getting ready to go dormant. Actually, this one's got some figs on it. Oh, wow. Interesting. Those are bigger than the other ones. Yeah. Across the way. And they come over here. The moringa. The moringa patch. I think if you got in the middle, I couldn't see you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if I can get in there. Try. Uh, you could definitely hide from me there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these were taller, but I, I pugged them back and harvested all the leaves on them. 
a couple months ago and then they've of course flushed out and we're gonna harvest here again here very soon because there's a lot on there now more than there was before and then this is another peach tree is this the prince florida yeah prince? florida prince yep florida prince it's fallen but it's not quite oh there you go mulberry tree I took we've had some problems with the trunk I put a ton of dirt around it because I know these can put out adventitious roots to it and it did I checked it's put out new roots and it's starting to do better so we'll see if this is gonna work or not but it's actually got a little bit of fruit on it <laughs> here and there mm -hmm. Everbearing mulberry and true to its name this thing has had mulberries on it all year long it is very good it's nice and sweet oh they are good but it's it's getting ready it's oh, yeah, losing it's leaves going to dormant all over the place look at that Mm, those are good. Pakistani mulberry. Look at that one. Chip pruned this thing numerous times this year to get it to branch. And I've gotten a few extra branches here and there out of it, but not, not as many as I'd like. Here, some of the leaves are beat up in the hurricane, and it's going to be time to be going dormant here soon. But for its first year, it did pretty good. Hey, Especially Peckers. as many times as I tip pruned it, which I think I did it three times. Yeah, you wouldn't even think that there was, it was time to go dormant yet with these nice looking leaves. No. The ruby red grapefruit. Oh, doesn't that it's like look Kind of a slow establishment, but it's starting to put out some new growth right now. That's good. Sure is looking healthy. And then lastly, the two Jaboti Kavas, red Jaboti Kavas. This is just finishing up a flush right now. I think that's why it's kind of yellow, but we'll see how it does over the winter and next year. The red Jaboti Kava and the, the typical black or purple one. So those are red fruit and this is black fruit? Right. Oh, okay. And then I've planted some um, pineapples oh, you over have. here. Oh, Look at that. But I don't know. I, I'm just planting them straight in the mulch. This is, the mulch isn't all that terribly old. I don't know how well it's liking it so far. We'll see if they survive. And how long have you had these in here? Um, some of them, basically a month or two. I don't think they're gonna make it. We'll see. They're tough plants, but we'll see how they do. Yeah. And so that's that's the end of the tour on finishing up uh, our second growing season here. Some stuff has gone through its first growing season, but um, others have gone through two, and it's. The end of the second for us uh, as a project goes. Our next update should be sometime probably in March when things start growing again. But thanks for viewing and God bless.